Babysitters. I thought this whole spy gig was supposed to be fun. So much for the days of exciting missions in exotic places. At least we can be psyched about our big snowboarding trip this weekend. Yeah. What do you say we forget about Jerry and his boring missions and focus on what is really important? Wow! Oh, it's fabulous! Well, don't you think it's a bit tight for snowboarding? <gasps> it's hardly any of your business! Now, bug off! Alex, I've noticed your grades have slipped, so I've arranged for you to be tutored by our top whoop scholar every day after school. No need to thank me, I'm just happy to help where I can. <sighs> okay, being a spy has just gone from mundane to ridiculous. We can't even get ready for our trip without Jerry bugging us. Tell me about it. That man is the absolute worst. We should definitely give him a piece of our minds. I totally agree. It's high time we put our feet down. <gasps> <gasps> into our personal lives. Yeah, and no more treating us like little girls. Do I make myself cl cl clear? Crystal clear. Huh? Hello, girls. I'm Max Smith, your new Whoop Guardian. You're our new guardian? W what happened to Jerry? Jerry decided after 35 wonderful years with Whoop that it was time he worked on his golf game. He's retired. It's true, ladies, I have indeed retired. I am, however, confident that I've left you in very capable hands. Max should prove to be a fine replacement. So, does this mean we're never gonna see you again, Jer? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm retired. I can't believe Jerry retired. It seems like just yesterday he was invading our privacy and majorly getting on our nerves. Well, we'll have plenty of time to get acquainted later, girls. Right now, I need you to gather around, because I have a really important mission for you. Great. This guy's gonna be a pain in the butt, just like Jerry. And the first thing you'll need for this mission is an official Whoop Platinum credit card. Whoa. Did you just say Platinum credit card? And that's right. Whoop gave me a couple of new cards this morning. Your first mission is to go shopping on the organization's dime. I know this fabulous new department store in Paris. Paris? But, but what about our gadgets? Jerry always gives us gadgets. Okay, here's the parasol crossbow, 
the backpack jetpack, the crime scene scanner watch, the tornado in a can of hairspray, and a tube of immobilizing stun tan lotion. Have fun. It's official. Max, the best. The total ultimate coolest. You can say that again. But he's also so cool and smart. I'm gonna call Jerry to see what he might like for a retirement gift. Hey, Jer, it's Alex. Just wondering what you might like as a retirement. Sorry, I can't help you. I'm retired. Read much? Don't worry about it. Yeah, Jerry's loss is totally our gain. Maybe I'll buy a gift for Mac. After all, a little generosity could go a long way. What the? Or cashmere. Time for a little retaliation. Okay, that's a little more purchasing power than I was looking for. We better get back to Whoop and tell Mac what happened. Nice suit. Whoa. Back so soon? Yeah, we uh, had a little problem with the credit card. Not that we didn't totally appreciate you giving it to us. What? Was it declined or something? No, it attacked us with its whirling saw blades of death. We barely made it out of the store alive. Um, for you. Sorry I didn't have time to get it gift wrapped. Oh, you girls can't be serious. Unfortunately, we are serious, and so is the $200,000 bill for damages you'll be receiving from the department store. Doesn't it even bother you that we were almost shredded by a killer credit card? Alex, Mac is a seasoned agent. He's probably been in so many dangerous situations, stuff like this doesn't even faze him. Girls, I apologize. You've got to let me make this up to you. How about a cliff diving adventure in Acapulco? I think we've had enough international excitement for one day. Well, then the least I can do is offer you a ride home in style. Take my brand new Turbo Titan 3000 XT. Just bought it yesterday. Still has that new car smell. Wow. <laughs> well, if you insist. Awesome! I mean, could Mac possibly be any more money? He's got the brains, he's kind of cute, and his car's the bomb. Tell me about it, this car practically drives itself! Oh, sunglasses! What do we need sunglasses for? It's nighttime. It's not a question of function, Alex. It's a question of fashion. Whoa! Whoa, I guess this car really is the bomb. I wonder what could have caused this. I think the question is who could have caused this, huh? Bingo! What is it? A fingerprint. A fingerprint that belongs to a criminal named Tim Scam. Man, his rap sheet's longer than Clover's list of past boyfriends. Well, almost. Uh-oh. We should warn Mac. I mean, first the evil credit card, and now this. I think this Tim guy's after him. Huh, there's no answer. Then I guess we better get to Whoop and warn him. And how exactly are we gonna do that? Yeah, in case you forgot, our ride exploded. Well, if we can't drive, huh? let's fly. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know, but we should at least leave him a note. That says what? Mac, FYI, in addition to turning your credit card into a whirling blade of death, some psycho also blew your car into a billion pieces of scrap metal. By the way, let's do lunch. <gasps> Check this out. A schematic drawing of the Evapo Blaster and a file on Tim's scam. That's weird. 
Why would Mac have those? Unless he knows that Tim Scam is after him. Wait a second. This is a Whoop employee file. That's impossible. That would mean that... Tim Scam used to work at Whoop. According to these records, he was a Whoop weapons technician 20 years ago. But it says here he was fired for illegal use of Whoop technology. What a creep. We better call Jerry. I'm sure he remembers Tim Scam. After all, he worked here for like 90 years. Jerry, you've got to help us. There's a crazy... Sorry, I can't help you. I'm retired. Trey uncouth. I mean, I don't care if he is retired. This is an emergency. Wait a second. Sorry, I can't help you. I'm retired. I knew it. This isn't live. This is on a tape loop. A tape loop? Now, why would Jerry do that? He wouldn't, but someone else might. Someone like Tim Scam. <laughs> Hold it right there. Ah! It's him! Maybe we could use something in here to give him the slip. I get a ticket every time I drive my car. How am I supposed to drive any of these crazy things? How hard can this be to drive? What the? Anti-gravity cycle. No time for driving Fit the Evapo Blaster with a missile guidance system. We're so happy it's you and not that crazy Tim Scam. Yeah, he's been chasing us all over Whoop, and he's after you too. Hmm. By the way, do you girls still have your stun tan lotion on you? Sure. So, what are we going to do about Tim Scam? Hey, did you know that your name backwards spells Tim Scam? Whoa, that is a weird coincidence. You're Tim Scam. <laughs> Thank goodness you're all right. I was so worried that Tim Scam got to you. <gasps> what? Not so fast. <laughs> Emergency. I need a deep tissue massage right this second. Make it too. Hey, where's that jerk, Max Smith or Tim Scam or whatever his name is? Forget about that jerk. Where are we? <gasps> Try to relax and enjoy the ride, girls. Why did you bring us out here? And what do you plan to do with that? Why, I'm going to use it to evaporate the entire Earth's water from the safety of my spaceship. I gotta say, even for a complete psycho like you, that's still a really crazy idea. Thank you. 
We read your whoop file. We know all about your criminal past. Whoop never did appreciate me for the genius that I am. Drop, Drop the, money. the money! We've, We've got, got you surrounded! surrounded. I can't believe I actually thought you were cool. You seem so smart, but now I see you're just another immature, run-of-the-mill terrorist. We're like so over! Yeah, and you can just forget about your crazy little plan because you're going to have to deal with us first. Okay, you're dealt with. Oh, and while you're out there, tell Jerry I said hello. blasted Jerry out here so we could take Jerry's place and gain access to Whoop. We've got to get to Jerry before he runs out of oxygen. But how are we supposed to get over to him? Wait, I've got it. Great idea. What's your idea? I'm going to use the tornado in a can to give us a little kick. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I guess I had the can turned the wrong way. Now take us back to the mothership. <laughs> it's a good thing there's no gravity out here, or Jerry would be out of luck. Come on, Jerry. You've got at least a couple more years in you. Jerry's gonna be just fine. Come on! Where could he be? Judging by that floating ocean out there, I'd say he can't be far. We've got to find the Evapo Blaster and send that water back to Earth. <gasps> I've got your Evapo Blaster right here. Moisturizer. Nice. What is this? Let me out of here. Jerry. Don't you remember? I think this was your best weapon ever. You look like you could use some liquid refreshment. Jerry. Yeah, I almost feel bad for calling you a boring old goat. You called me a what? No time to explain. We gotta get that water back to Earth. Let me out of here! So, we missed our snowboarding trip, but at least we saved the world. And we saved Jerry. I never thought I'd admit it, but I was really starting to miss that old goat. I mean, <laughs> mature guy. 
Well, good evening, ladies. Just wanted to stop by and officially thank you for saving my life. Don't sweat it. After all, you saved our lives, too. Still, I did want to properly show my appreciation, and so I'm sending you on a surprise ski trip to St. Moritz. Wow, thanks! Great! Cool! But first, I have a mission for you girls. I need you to train the entire Whoop Canine Division. That is, of course, after you do your homework and clean your rooms, and I've got some filing I need to have done. No! Not again! Jerry! <laughs> 